So Panasonic, they don't care. They don't care if we've eaten today. They don't ask, how was your day? Yeah, they don't care. They're out there focusing on the wrong ass shit. The target audience is off. It's not even right. They lined up the crosshairs they shot a deer in the foot. The Panasonic S1H, the H standing for helicopter because it flew out of my radar. That's all I know, for sure. It's a piece of shit, and we'll talk about it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. The technology for the perfect camera is upon us. It's already here. We just got to piece and pick our matches and meld together all different companies into one. Unfortunately for us, the Panasonic S1H is not the glued together super camera of the future. It should be, but it's not. If you have a super rusty car and you're just looking at it like that looks dangerous, it's gonna fall apart on the road, I better do something about it. Panasonic's answer to this solution. The solution is the answer. Panasonic just wants to paint over it. Just ignore it, like just paint it. And not even good paint, like lead, leaded paint from the 40s. Just Alzheimer's shit. Sure, your super rusty painted car looks okay. You'll get off the lot. But what's gonna happen inside? In there? When you come to answer your truth, your true calling, what's gonna happen then? Panasonic has issues not unlike myself with my eating disorder mentality and my quest for perfect cameras, unreasonable demands I have. I realize that. But Panasonic, you belong in a prison. Instead of fixing their one handicapped leg, autofocus leg, instead of just putting on a stump, they're going for 6K. Not even a 3.2, 3 to 2 aspect. This is, is this what we asked for? Oh, I wish we could do the 4x3 shit. I hate the HD super wide. D take that out. I grew up watching those stupid square TVs and they sucked and then the widescreen came out. Oh my God right now. Are you believing that? Was it in focus? I swear to God if it wasn't in focus. When I saw that HD screen for the first time wide angle, I was like, there it is. There it is. And then I'd get pissed. They just crop off the black bars. What the hell is that? You get a widescreen TV, and then you still give me the black bars? I want my wrath. So Panasonic has decided to give us the much demanded 6K in a 3-2 aspect ratio. Not even in 24p. They give you 6K in 24p, and then 5.9K in 30p only. So you can't mix the footage. Can't mix it. Not that, like, what would you even do with it? 3.2, it's like, oh, I, I, I'm really tall. I wish I tall people could vlog. Well, now you can, because you're a geek. I wish I could watch videos upright like this. Oh, that's better. Thank you, Panasonic. This is so much better. You know that I had wrist pain. I can't do this. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Thank you, Panasonic. Listen, Panasonic, we don't need it. We don't need your shit right now. Not right now. Not Today is not the day for this. 6K is stupid in the face. Don't think I didn't see that flippy screen on there. Like we're gonna use the 6K vlogging piece of heavy shit for vlogging. What's your problem? You think you can throw a flippy screen in there and I'm gonna give it a positive review? You be better think twice. Better think twice, three times. Think, think it through. This whole system just irritates my skin. Just like it's designed for professionals or something. Where's the YouTubers in your heart? What, are we supposed to just borrow mom's Kodak flip phone? That, that's all we need, huh? Sure, I could get away with it. It's not a very important show we got here, but... We dig deep. We dig deep on the real issues of life. I'm important. We're all important here. I was reading a comment on DP Review about this camera, and some guy was just like, I can't believe all these comments. Don't you realize real professionals only use manual focus? They do this. They do this all day long, manually. They would never <laughs> use autofocus. I'm just thinking like, who are these super professional videographers who are just so snooty? And they're just like, oh no, I would never trust. They wish they had some dual pixel autofocus in their life. 
I saw a professional guy who's like, oh, this is so amazing now that we have dual pixel autofocus. It's like, imagine if it was improved. Do triple, triple autofocus. Nipples. Nipples on the sensor. Why are we going there? Is this new Panasonic S1H gonna be absolutely phenomenal quality-wise? Of course, it's gonna win awards, fancy awards. Movies will be shot and they're just like, wow, you never could have done this without the Panasonic. Leonardo DiCaprio actually gave a pledge and he had a meeting on how he, this is his favorite camera. All right, boys, I've made a lot of movies in my life. Last one, I got eaten by a bear, it hurt. It hurt a lot, but it didn't look real because it was a Sony camera. It was bullshit. So we're switching to Panasonic and I'm gonna get eaten by a wolf. You don't have to do this. We have the CGI. We can fake it. It'll look okay. No, I want a real wolf. I want to be attacked viciously. I've been teasing that wolf all week. Just, I want him to be blood, blood everywhere. And it better be captured. Okay, but we'll have to shoot it in 6K or something. It's not gonna show up in 4K. There's no camera that shoots 6K right now. Up until last week, I would have said you're right, Tim. But there is a camera that does 6K. It, it does crop off the sides. It does crop off the sides. Won't we miss a lot of action on the sides there with the wolf? They dart in from, like, really fast from all angles. Panasonic know what they're doing. They wouldn't crop it off for no good reason. There's, there's no information in the sides that we need. But Panasonic wouldn't let us down. Are you gonna see Leonardo DiCaprio's newest movie, The Wolf Diaries? I'm gonna see it. Day one. Are you seriously gonna make me raise my ISO right now? Oh my god. Let's not get carried away. So Panasonic has yet again failed us vlogging YouTubers. Sitting in their mom's living room with no 6K cameras to film us. Because it'll crop off on the sides and can't autofocus. So I'm disappointed. I'm just angry, I'm throwing a fit inside. I'm keeping it cool on the outside, but in here, rage, freaking rage. Have you seen the size of this thing? It's so thick. It's got a fan in there. And then the flippy screen is its own dimension, its own box, its own separate camera. It's just so weird and stupid looking. I hate it. And what the hell is Sony doing? What are you doing back there behind the scenes? You're waiting, you're scared. You keep putting off your A7S III because you're waiting for the competition, but then they keep releasing new cameras. And I'm like, oh, uh-oh, 6K, mm. oh shit. All right, yeah, let's go back there. Our heat sink ain't that big. That, wow, look at that heat sink. When are they just gonna release something? I don't even think they're capable of beating what Panasonic already has with the 10-bit and the 4K 60. I think they can't even do it, they're lying. They're like, oh, we want to blow you away. I hope a whale blowholes you out to sea. That's what I hope. It's a battle between Sony and Panasonic for highest tech, and then Canon's like just trying to stay afloat from smartphone warfare, and Nikon's just trying to stay in business at all. They're just, what are they doing? I myself am more interested in the budget cameras. Just feature packed, but budget friendly and light tiny little light cameras that just have all the features of their main rivals. It's not gonna happen. I don't feel like Panasonic's gonna do it though. That whole system is more like they're trying to be like a priced. But they ain't like a nice. I'll tell you that much. So, it's a fail. So they failed hard and I laugh at them. I laugh at their misfortunes and I give them no money. Take that, take that, we're done, we're done here. Thank you so much for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt and subscribing for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.